hi my name is Amir and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation and the Delete Concealer Anti Blemish Dark Circle Corrector. So I just need to get this on my face because I am starving. I am so 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 hungry. I really need to eat. So um, I'm just going to put this on, finish my base and then I'm going to like go for an hour and eat and just yeah everything so i'm taking the still at one step correct because this is my fave primer and i find that it doesn't really change the finish of a foundation so it's really good for first impression all right so i got the shade f200 and i was tossing up between f200 and f300 and i'm really glad that i got 200 because it looks really dark for the second darkest shade like, I would have thought it would have been a bit lighter than this, but it's good because I've only got one layer of fake tan on at the moment, so I think it should be okay. I've just taken one pump, and one pump looks like a generous amount, and it is kind of a, it feels thick, but I feel like it's going to blend out really, really well. All right, I'm just spreading it out with my finger, and I'm going to go in now with the Damp Beauty Blender. This is what I always, always use. Um, I, just, I just find that it gives me the most flawless finish. And this is a good time for me to be trying a foundation because I've got a few breakouts around here at the moment. I'm really, really surprised at how dark this is for the second darkest shade. I haven't really told you anything about this foundation yet either because I'm so, so, so hungry. So when I come back and I'm completely finished after applying this makeup and eating, I will tell you all about the foundation as well and what it claims to do. I feel like that blended out really, really, really easily. It hasn't clung to any dry patches. It hasn't accentuated any pores. I mean, I do have pores across here. It hasn't hidden them or anything. Normally, I would use a pore minimizing primer just across here first. But, you know, for this, for the sake of this um, video, I never do that for first impressions. It looks really, really, really natural. But, like, a lot of the redness um, in here has been covered up. Most of the redness in my um, blemishes has been taken away and yeah it's even like sometimes here I find that foundations don't like to stick to that area and this seems to be sticking. I mean a little bit just above the brows isn't quite sticking but everywhere else like it's really, it looks really really good. I'm really surprised. My skin looks like skin. Now normally I would only apply a small amount of foundation like this, just like one layer, but for the sake of first impressions and helping you guys out, I'm going to take like a little bit more, it's like half a pump maybe, maybe a third, and I'm just going to see how buildable it is. So I'm going to use a little bit more on my chin, on my nose, and this little cheek area, and just between my eyebrows, just where I need a bit more coverage. There's no point going in with like a whole second layer of foundation on my cheeks because there's literally nothing there to cover. I only apply foundation to my cheeks because I fake tan and I need everything to be the same color. This is layering up really nicely. I feel like that second layer has actually kind of, the pores don't look as bad anymore on my nose, which is really, really good. And the second layer is sticking to those areas above my eyebrows that I have issues with. So now I'm gonna take the EX1 Delete Concealer um, I got the shade D100, which is the lightest shade this comes in, and it's really dark. Like, I was surprised at how dark this is. It feels very, very thick and almost like a little bit drying, so I wouldn't recommend using too much of this. And if you need to, maybe even warm up on the back of your hand a little bit before you apply it straight to your face. I would probably apply this with my fingers, but because I can't get in there with the nails, it's not worth it. I'm just taking a little bit on this brush. This is blending in really nicely to this foundation shade. Wow. I'm just going to do one eye at a time just so you can see the difference. I'm going to use my finger now to blend this in because I feel like the warmth from my finger will really help soften and blend in this product. This concealer or corrector is quite buildable as well. Keep in mind, I have natural shadows under my eyes. Like, if I go like this, they're very dark. And if I go like this, and um, the whole area is filled with light, and you can see that the shadow is gone, and all of the actual darkness has been concealed. 
side note, if you guys have had fillers under your eyes, because I'm really thinking about getting them, let me know what your experiences have been, or if you know any videos of anyone who's done um, that, let me know, because I really... I've been thinking about getting it because I always look like a zombie. <laughs> I'm surprised that this hasn't started creasing yet either. It hasn't been on my eyes that long, but normally like instantly, <laughs> instantly products are creasing under there. Seeing as I would never just leave my concealer like this, I'm gonna take the Maybelline concealers. I've got 220 sable and 10 light, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of these through the center of my face just to highlight those areas and just because I find that that second layer will, yeah, I don't know, I just find that it works the best. That concealer has blended out really, really nicely over that corrector. Nice. My skin looks really, really good right now, if I may say so myself. I'm going to take my shade and light palette now to set my eye area because this is what I've been using lately. And I find that, you know, since I'm going to use what I'm using lately, I'm going to be able to tell how the concealer goes, if it creases more or less than normal or whatever. First impression is that this looks awesome. Like, this looks really, really, really nice. Okay, so it's 2 o'clock. I've gone and I've had lunch and I've done my hair and I've finished getting ready and all those nice things. Um, oh, it's so painful to talk. I have, like, a big split in my lip from being lazy yesterday and not drinking enough water and not going to bed with lip balm on it. So now it hurts and it's just really bad and I really hate it. And if you're tired, I don't care. I don't care your excuse. Go get your lip balm and put it on before bed because this hurts. All right, so anyway, I haven't looked at my foundation yet um, since finishing my makeup or whatever. I wasn't really paying that much attention. I was kind of focusing on what I was doing. So I'm gonna tell you a bit more about the foundation now. I'm just gonna read what it says on the back. It says, True color pigments even out skin tone and correct imperfections for perfect coverage that is almost invisible. Oil free, non pore clogging. And that's all it claims. Anyway, so now looking at my makeup, it looks really good. It looks like the exact same. It has a very natural skin finish. It doesn't look too drying on the skin, but it doesn't really look dewy or anything. So I probably would maybe use an illuminating primer with this foundation because I have dry skin. But seeing as there's like no shine to it, if you have oily skin and it's oil free, I think that you'll find that it could really, really work for you. But yeah, it's been on my skin two hours. Um, my makeup applied the same on top of it, I would say. Like, I don't, didn't notice it harder to blend out or anything. Like, it was really, really easy to use. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's all I can really say about it. <laughs> and the concealer doesn't really say anything on it. Whatever. My concealer under my eyes actually looks really good today. Like, I think my eyes look really, really bright and awake, which for me is very, very good. All right, so I've been wearing the foundation for over six hours now. And I'm gonna look in the mirror and it looks pretty flawless. It is slightly dry here, but I've been really, really dry there lately. And like I said earlier, my lips cracking like I didn't drink very much water yesterday and my skin is definitely suffering because of it. It is looking awesome. It looks almost identical to when I first put it on which is really, really good. I mean, pretty standard for me. Most of my foundations generally last pretty well or completely fall apart within like one or two hours. So yeah, I'm not surprised that this is lasting well. Like I've heard really good things about this foundation. I'm really, really happy. I'm gonna leave it on for a couple more hours. Um, you know, we'll see when Adam gets home, what he wants to do tonight. I'll try and put off washing my face, um, you know, for as long as possible, but I'm probably not going to be wearing it for super a super long amount of time. So it is now the evening. I got to leave my makeup on a little bit longer than I thought I would because we had a friend pop over and they hung out for a while while they waited for someone to pick them up. So yeah, um, I'm going to wash off my makeup in a minute. I haven't really looked at it yet, so here's my little mirror. It's a bit hard to tell because the lighting in here is a little bit different in the evening. It's generally the same because I've got my two big soft boxes but there's no natural light coming in the window behind. Um, I think it looks almost the same still. Underneath my eyes it looks a little bit heavy and a little bit cracked um, 
but it's been a long day and generally you know my concealer doesn't stay perfect all day sometimes sometimes it does but not always I don't think my nose is shiny I think it's just the highlight on it is um, showing through a bit more in the lighting now it looks really good it hasn't changed it still looks perfect which is what I was hoping for and expecting um, yeah it looks really really good even underneath my eyes I can just smooth it out yeah softly smooth it out and it's perfect again so I'm very very impressed um, it's currently like the very start of July this won't be up till the end of July but I can tell I'm going to use it a lot and it's probably going to be in my monthly favorites let me know below what your experiences with this foundation have been and I would love to know um, you know let me know what kind of um, primers you've used with it how you like to apply it etc etc let me know your experiences with it leave a comment below as well if there are any other foundations you'd like me to do first impressions of or any other general video requests I would love to know if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my new videos and I'll see you all next time bye